The Naval History and Heritage Command is responsible for managing the Navy's sunken military craft. That includes ships and aircraft from the American Revolution all the way to present day. Uh, in July 19, 1918, USS San Diego, an armored cruiser, was making its way from New Hampshire to New York and uh, was attacked. A single explosion rocked its hull, and within 20 minutes, the ship had capsized and sunk. Here we are, 100 years later, commemorating uh, the loss of the six sailors that uh, uh, sacrificed their lives on that day, as well as the valiant efforts of the U.S. Navy in World War I. In 2016, the Naval History and Heritage Command partnered with uh, Mudsuit 2 to conduct an assessment of a number of sites up and down the Atlantic coast. One of those sites was USS San Diego, and we repeated that uh, process in 2017, and then here we are in 2018, uh, having conducted an autonomous underwater vehicle survey of the hull of the vessel. Uh, that's given us a sense of where we should concentrate our efforts to uh, establish, if we can, the cause of loss of San Diego, whether it was a minor or a torpedo. We know where the explosion occurred, but we hadn't laid eyes on the point of impact. So over the last few days, we've been able to map the site, pinpoint that area, we've placed a buoy on that area, and now behind me you'll see diving operations uh, that are attempting to document and record that, that precise location for us. Can you... So we were able to, uh, with pinpoint accuracy, place our buoy where we wanted it. And that happens to be frame 78, where a corridor of inquiry that followed the sinking uh, also stated the explosion occurred. We have actually uh, lowered divers to that point, and they've explored the area about 20 feet forward and 20 feet aft of that area, and uh, have found a number of holes, including a very large one, that uh, um, seems to represent the, the, the entire shear of the vessel that's essentially collapsed. Uh, over the course of the decades. So 100 years ago, six men lost their lives uh, defending the nation. And uh, over the course of the decades that ensued, a number of theories had been posited as to what caused the San Diego to sink. By executing this operation and others similar like it, we're able to set the record straight, learn from our history, and also honor the, the sacrifice and service of, of, uh, of those men. Okay. Let's see. On the day of the anniversary, we plan on having uh, a commemoration service aboard USNS GRASP uh, that will include MUDSU-2, Combat Camera, Naval History and Heritage Command, as well as the current USS San Diego. And uh, following the commemoration service on top of the GRASP aft deck, we will then lower a wreath and place it on the bow of USS San Diego. Okay. And um... Um, We're extremely grateful to all our partners, including Combat Camera, uh, whose final mission this is to document this commemoration service, uh, as well as Mudsu 2, USS San Diego, USNS GRASP, as well as partners in the private sector and academia who have uh, supported this effort over the last several years. This is a culmination of those efforts on the day 100 years from the sinking. The Navy is responsible for nearly 3,000 shipwrecks and over 14,000 uh, aircraft wrecks distributed around the world. Uh, these sites are not only important from a historical perspective and a cultural perspective, but they may also represent war graves, they may carry ordnance or other environmental hazards, uh, and for a variety of reasons they're important to preserve, protect, and respect.